Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for the next episode of Crown Wars The Black Prince. Thank you everyone who has already gotten involved with getting your characters submitted so far. Like I said in the last episode, if you'd like to get involved with this series at all and get a character submitted and in, please let me know in the comments below or feel free to join the Northern Discord and use the relevant channel for Crown Wars. I've had a bit of a look in the background for the game now and I have messed around with a lot of the audio mixing and quality because it's one of those games where the background becomes really loud out of nowhere but then like the voices are really quiet. It, it happens with like loads of old films as well at the same time. People might know what I mean who, who existed when VHSs were a thing. Uh, that's just once again showing my age. But we've got everyone back now. It's been a few days. I've let everyone heal a little bit. I have also now leveled people up to the relevant skills of what I think would be good for them. Uh, Rashir wanted to focus on his bear more than anything. There are some bear skills that come down the line, but I have put trainer for the time being, which just means that you can both benefit from the teamwork together. We also have Adeline, who I actually need to give her new weapon to now because she wants to go maces for the old big bonk which is always good oh warhammer sorry it's warhammer there we go almost got that a little bit wrong you'll also notice that there's actually like a bit of uh, a line here so as it turns out the more that you use a weapon as well so you get experience by yourself regardless and you level up but the more you use a weapon as well the more experience you gain with that weapon which i actually think is quite a cool little thing so just a little bit of an addition there and we are going to go down the inquisitor route uh, with adeline where you strike down with your weapon to chase your target and deal five to nine which will probably make sense with the warhammer if you're taking damage during the turn the attack gains 20 percent bonus to power not bad not bad at all uh rt also did level up and now has weapon master mainly just so he can go a bit more tankier and so he can actually maybe inflict prone with smacking them with the old mace which will be quite helpful down the line and then rook we're going like full damagey glass candy i think yours is gonna be more of a mix between saboteur and scout so we're probably gonna ping around quite a bit but for the time being we're gonna go lone wolf thor now we do also now have Beatmeister Bruno, who is going to be one of our alchemists. The color scheme is very interesting, to say the least. Um, but that'll be fun. I will be taking Beakmeister out, and I will also be taking Neri out this time as well, since he didn't get to do it last time. Uh, and yeah, like I say, we can, we can re recruit people. We can just use people who are already technically here. So anyone who wants to get joined in, just give me the class, give me the name, give me the details, and I'll get you in for next time or the next time after that. Right. So what do we need to do today? So... And it's complete the assassination mission and also complete the skirmish mission. So if I go to the map of France over here, we'll see that there's both the skirmish mission and the assassination mission. I'm going to quickly go and do the skirmish mission now because it's literally next door. Um, so it should be pretty straightforward, but I will send a slightly different group this time compared to last time. Although it won't be a massive change, but I'm going to send uh, Beakmeister. I will send Rochev. I will send Adeline. And I will send Neri. So we've still got our range, but instead of Rook, we have Beakmeister. And instead of our tank of Artie, we've got the tank of Neri, which makes sense to me. I'm just going to quickly continue here. I should give a little bit of bomb to everyone else here. Thank God the controls are getting a little bit better. I had a look at the key bindings as well, and I, I mentioned it on Discord, but whoever originally set the key bindings, and he's like firing out of a cannon, because my God, it was so confusing how to use the camera in the first episode. You probably noticed, uh, but hopefully this one will be a lot better. Maybe we should change our colors a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of like red and, well, maybe not purple here, um, but uh, Mr. Grayscale over here might need a bit of a change, but hey, it's up to him. Let's get in there. Let's see what we can find today. Okay, so there's at least three enemies Forward. over there. Oh, already. Oh, this is so much better. I can actually move properly without getting confused for the camera controls. Ah, oh, lifesaver. Absolutely game-changing. Okay, cool. So, we can see the enemies over here. Although we can only see actually four, I imagine there's going to be quite a few more sneaking around. But I don't know if they know that we're here. So, let's just be a little bit on the careful side. I am going to try and stay a little bit far out just so I can see, like, down these alleyways. But staying a little bit, yeah, so there's a bit of a direction there where if we get into that red area, like the last mission, they will see us. So I think we could probably push up quite quickly and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Keep your bear close, to be fair. Oh god, he does move quite fast for a bear. I mean, personally, I don't actually know how fast bears are in real life, but uh, if that's accurate, oh, Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. 
Right, let's see how the Warhammer does. Hopefully, it will rock someone's life like a hurricane. Let's get everyone just behind and stacked up. Let's see how the enemy reacts. I think the bear can go one more time, but I don't really see much point, so I will just end the turn. Let's see what it brings. Oh, yeah, there's definitely way more people. I think someone did mention that, like, you're always sort of outnumbered, uh, and ambushing is the way to go. Very similar to another game, but I won't say, because I've said it quite a few times. Not in a bad way. I, I think I think saying it is quite positive, because it's nice that it's had so much of an impact on, like, games in this area as a whole. Like, honestly. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Is that, I think there's at, least, there's at least six. We've got five, including our bear boy. I wouldn't mind being able to, like, bring them in, because they won't... They're going to have to move to come in, and then we're going to have to focus fire on them. They've got a lot of melee people. Are you melee or are you your bow? Okay, if I put you like here, am I still going to be able to... How close have I got to get to shoot you? Is there a range? There is a range. It's quite a, it's quite a small range. So if I was to go like, let's say here, and it will tell me where as well. So we've got the healing flasks, we've got the fire flasks. And then we've also got just armor piercing. Which will be quite useful. Let's just put Overwatch on for now. Because he's probably going to turn around. I'm going to try and get everyone a little bit closer in preparation. Because I imagine they might end up coming in as soon as they see me, which they probably will. Let's get the bear a little bit closer. Just be a little bit careful. It's always funny when, when games do this. Where it's like, oh, they specifically can't see in this very specific area. And I'm like, are you, are you sure? Are you sure? Right. On the move. In you go. Use this window as cover. I think you could probably hock and jump through these windows, so that should be fine. Let me just make sure that I'm getting through here without running through the gap. So I can at least, like, ambush them as they try and come in here. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Come on now. How are you going to move? I thought they shot then, and I was like, bro, what? Where are you aiming? All right, so there are six of them. We are outnumbered. We've been rumbled. Oh, there's seven of them. For some reason, my Overwatch didn't work, even though they... Oh, that was the noise of the Overwatch. Right then. Okay. Move a little bit closer. This could be very dangerous. Lob this. Hit stop. And then fire that, please. Beakmaster showing it how it's done. Okay. Let's get in there. I think if we go, let's say Very here. Well. And then if I bring the bear in, I kind of feel bad for this guy, but I'm going to also try and angle the bear a bit just so I don't get attacked from behind. I don't know how it impacts us. So you fight alongside a beast. If you attack a unit that's already been hit by your beast, it does more damage. So say, for example, you do the old grappling strike. And now if the beast goes in, Hello. Lucky. What was the chance? 80%. You, uh... You won't get lucky a second time. I'm sorry to say. Ready to go. Now, I suppose the only problem now is, I guess, Overwatch here. Hold this position. They might come and try and stab the bear in the back. They also might have a range of two just due to the weapon yes. type they have. It seems that they haven't been activated yet, which is kind of annoying because I thought the whole thing was going to get, like, the popped off. To move. My blade is yours. So I don't know how they're going to actually react to this. So let me run back for a second. You're going to be sort of our middle person, I guess. I don't know if you guys have technically been rumbled. It, it's not It's not being very clear. It's not being very clear. Right, let's just kind of, like, cover all our bases here. I don't know if these guys are actually going to move in or not. <laughs> No, they're still walking around normally. Okay, I think the game just needs to be a bit clear with that, with who's part of what. Do they know where the Overwatchers are, I wonder? Jesus, that was some movement. Okay, if I knew... Uh, yeah, okay, alright, alright, it's fine. Everything is fine. I know you're going to get taken a bit of a flack, but it's all right. What can you do? So you can shoot while you're in range, right? Yes. So let me do that. 
<laughs> oh, it's just like a cheeky stab. Okay, fair enough. Can I throw that? I can hit that with me, which I guess I'll do. There you go, Bruno. Good job. And then I'd love to get out, but give me a yes. second on that. I don't like how the game doesn't tell you about things like this. It. I feel like this should just be separate. It's fine. Like, I'll, I'll handle it. It's, it's going to be a learning thing regardless. Let me just go and start with this. Come on. Now you are injured with that. Let me see if I can just take this guy out straight up. 18. Bear boy. Can you seal the deal? My guy, Grognan, is leaving a corpse pile. Uh, I don't know what to say to that other than, Jesus Christ, I'm terrified of this bear. But also, he's great. I think I need to turn down the volumes of the animals, because uh, Grognan's quite loud. As he should be, he's a bear. Okay, great. So that's fine. You're, you're there. You're handling with that. Okay, this is a bit better. I managed to, like, turn it around a bit. At your service. You just keep overwatching just in case they see that you're actually there. I don't think you're going to be able to move. Or maybe you can now. I, I'm not getting an attack of opportunity anymore, so maybe I actually can get away from the situation. Yes, I can. Good to know. How are they going to react? They're just going to die from that. They still haven't clocked bad line is there. You're going to stab my bear, bro. Uh, well... Unfortunately, Roshev is going to take offense to that. So if I, even if I stay in your range, so I'm going to get, if I stand here, that's fine, you won't do an attack of opportunity. But if I, even if I walk around you and stay in your zone, you will then still get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Works a little bit differently to other games, but that's fine. Okay, well, I tried to do coordinate strike. He did dodge the first part. <laughs> Classic move. Uh, right, you've gone there. That's fine. Grognan. Good lord. I feel sorry for this guy. Okay, so the bear has killed three people. I mean, once again, it's a bear. Um, it seems yes. like he's having a great time. Now, the rest of the group, well. let us push up and get ready to invade. Yes. Can I get here without them seeing? I think I can. And I've got 13 turns before defeat. That's absolutely fine. Blade is yours. Buddy, just in case they see us, let's just overwatch there. Once again, Adeline, just they overwatch there. Through. And I'll just go... Let's go fight and, Let's go Defender, just in case they figure out that you're there. And hopefully we should be able to bait them this way. And they might not see you, but it might also be once, once they get rumbled, you also get rumbled. I think that's probably how it works. Very well. But... Let's try and stack up a bit in preparation. That way we can sort of plan the ambushes. But it's good to know for future reference that the groups, they are separate. Is If I run over here, is that me avoiding all the red, the red ones? I think it is. I think it is. Can you get through a window? See, this is why if you live in areas where bears are prevalent, you've got to be careful to shut your doors and windows. Not that I think shutting a door or a window will stop a bear from really getting in that well. Uh, it will I just go it. through it, I would imagine. I don't know. I'm not a bear expert. Right, you're going to move in a little bit closer. Are you going to... You haven't been clocked yet. That's nice. Can we get... So you only get the one explody flask. That's fine. In that case, let's get started. Perfect strike. Oh, gee, you've seen us. Yeah, obviously. I've just shot you, mate. You say perfect strike like it was a... Eh, it's quite, quite decent. Right, they're going to move in now. They're probably going to make our lives a little bit easier. Right. So, I assume I can't attack through walls, because that would be ridiculous. That would be utterly silly. So I guess let's get him. Let's pop off our kids. Strike down your weapon to chase and then deal 5 to 9 blunt damage. I can remove armor by doing this. Man, I love Warhammers. I know you do, too. So I could go defensive stance. It would increase your reflexes. Uh, but I will just keep smacking into this guy. Or I won't. That's cool, too. Absolutely fine. Bear boy, let's go. It's the last thing they'll expect. Or, or maybe the first thing. They've probably seen, like, the 
wall of corpses over there. Alright, keep going. Oh man, the chances to hit are not doing us any favours, are they? Right, there you go. Let's see how our Italian mercenary does. I don't think you've got anything that, like, I was trained for this. let's say taunts them for the time being, so let's just attack them. Man, these chances are rough, bro. Ready to go. Can you get in there next to your bear friend? I think you can, so you will be able to increase the damage that you do to this guy because the bear has already attacked. Nice. Did we poison him? He is poisoned. Okay, yes. nice stuff. And we still have our good friend over here. I could move, and I could just shoot this one. I think I probably will. Nice. And then let's get moving here with our Beakmeister, just so they can go and spot Adeline. All right, not a bad, not a bad run, not a bad start. Let's see how they react. So the numbers that people get given happen before the actual action, which is interesting. But I'm sure that'll get, I'm sure that'll get buffed out. Bear in mind, it's only day two of the game being released, so just take it with a pinch of salt. Why are you whistling? Is there more enemies I'm not aware of? Is that, what you, is that what you're trying to tell me? Don't expect mercy. Come on. Do I it. For this. Sheesh. Jesus. All right. Brutal. You love to see it. Can I surround this one anymore? No, but I can Very get in this range. So if they do move away, they ain't getting anywhere. Snipe that one. Good shot. And then, I think that one's going to be a bit out of range, isn't it? So let's get move in. You will take an attack there. Let's stand there. And then you should be able to shoot this one. 45%. What about this one? 100%. Let's go for the 100. 100 in the spine. Nice. Good job. Now, let's get him a good snap. And then, our bear should be able to just seal it. My god. Ready when you are. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> every time. I don't know why it surprises me so much, but every time. No mercy. Fantastic stuff. It will also turn him where to where you are. The bear can then get behind him. He might get a go. He might get a go. I feel like using a bear does kind of feel like cheating, but I'm also, you know. I'm also fully into it. So there is that. So how many kills for the bear is that? I think it's quite a bit. Yes. I think it's quite a bit. Right, now you've been injured. Verdict should work because you've taken damage during this turn. This attack gains 20% bonus to power. Repent. Nice. And he's taunted. Uh. Getting there. All right. Good job. Keep it up. Uh. And you dodged. Well, I think you deserve the kill, frankly. Uh. If you can hit it. Oh, man, just the slow anticipation of crushing his spine with that. Damn. Okay, so there's evidently more enemies, and I've got nine turns to deal with them. Where are they? We better get... A, we, we now need to get a wriggle on. To understand where they're, where they're hiding. Oh, there's like a whole area of the map up here, which I haven't seen. This will be interesting. Oh. Right, really got to push forward then, because we've only got nine turns. Any... any signs of life? There is something going on over there. So let's get everyone moving around. I probably thought... To be fair, I was like, ah, oh, two squads of enemies, this should be fine. This is the whole... this is the whole area. I think there's a secret third squad. Possibly. There they are. Right. Another group of... another group of four. So any AoE abilities would be massive. A little bit worried they might see the bear, because, you know, he's just standing there. Nope, they've walked the other way. Fair enough. Let me just go this way quickly. I just want to make sure there's not another gr then another another group because I think that'd be a bit much. Consider it done. Okay, I think there's only yes four more from what I can tell. So let's get Very hidden well. here. Let's Overwatch there. It does feel like they're aware of. Overwatches. It did specifically go around it last time, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with how that works going forward. But we'll see. I cannot c confirm or deny that currently. Very well. Get going, Adeline. Adeline? Adeline? I'm going to go Adeline. It sounds like Madeline. Yes. Like that film. 
I'm gonna go here. Understood. I don't think you're gonna be able to move any further. Right, let's see how they react. Will they see the big bear? I don't think I've got any AoE abilities, unfortunately. Okay, they will not see the bear. Now, can I shoot any of them? They're all a bit too far away. Can I hit any of them? I can, from there. And it will ignore two armor points, and then I guess I can just rush them? That could work. Okay. In position. We do technically outnumber them. So... You know what? I'll keep watch. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna let I'm gonna get my one point back from our guy. I'm gonna bring us a little bit closer in. On the off chance that they do get around us. I'm gonna off uh, overwatch on every single like angle that I can, on the off chance that they try and like finagle around us. This may, let's see how this works. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a lot of testing and trials and tribulations just to see how this all goes. If any of them move, he's probably going to shoot. Uh, yeah. Yes, they will. Shoot him! And funnily enough, shoot him again. God damn it. I feel like I can't do two, two attacks in a row at this point. Let me get up here. Let me see if I can make him follow Birdmeister. Let's get yourself here. On the move. Just so we can do a little bit of shielding and talking. I'll be quick to finish. And it does cut through the armor, so I don't need to worry about said armor. Bear, my friend. Oh boy, this guy, this girl is gonna feel very, 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 very sorry when she turns around and notices what's happening. Hello. Okay, good. Yes. Unfortunately, if I got here, he would take two attacks of opportunity. So I'm going to have to walk the long way around. I wish you could, like, plot your way around. That would be quite useful, but I don't think you can. You know what? I think this should be alright anyway. Let me... God, yeah, I can't quite, like... If I stood, like... If I did this, and then... No, it doesn't. I can't plot it. Very well. Fair enough. <laughs> Are you poisoned? You are. Very nice. And you're also smacked in a bit. And you are now going to be facing this way. There, boy. God, see what I mean? I just can't do two attacks At in a row. Command. Hope the game isn't set like that. Right. The move. Lock them both down, please. Let me get in there. God, guys, my hand. Kabom. And now you're taunted. You'll take an attack of opportunity if you move away from our zone. Oh, they're both taunted. Oh, right. Okay, she is taking it on the chin for all of us. Ow. Oh, boy. Okay, you are chasing. I guess you can see us there. That's fair. Great dodge. Fantastic. You love to see it. You want to shoot? strike. I guess just keep stabbing him. It's it's kind of working. It's it's kind of working. Right, can our bear friend, or can we yes. just deal with this? God, once again, my anticipation for the crunch. There it is. God guides my hand. He certainly does. He guides it right into other people's skulls, apparently. Right, if you walk in here. You're technically not going to take an attack of opportunity, I'm assuming, because you're taunted. So if I now come oh, in and sneak way. here. Hello. And do a coordinate strike. Together. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's very cool. I'm a fan of that. Nice! Well, I guess let's surround that one. I'm going to send the bear on a mission. I don't think you can attack him there, but you can attack him there, right? Go on, do it for your friend. Do it, for, do it for Beatmeister. You can do it. For this guy, if I was this guy, I'd be a little bit more worried now. There's a bear just standing up right next to me. But, uh, yeah, fill your boots, mate. I'll be quick to finish. Are you going to finish it? Just warming up. Oh, very, very close. Very close. Next time for sure. 
I'm ready. You've got one movement, but you will take an attack of opportunity if you move out of the zone. Although it might be better than actually getting hit by the cutthroat. I guess we'll see. See how it goes. Once again, testing the waters to see how certain characters and classes work. Okay. You're fine. Throw that down, you might as well. Cheeky stab. You deserve that, Beakmeister. Good job. At your command. Uh, do you want to just, like, shiv him? <sighs> nice! Right in the spine. Great job, team. Let's have a quick look. I assume all our level 1s are going to level up, like Neri and Beakmeister. The others are, who are level 2 probably aren't going to get to level 3. Very close. Surprisingly close, actually. Uh, both Neri and Beakmeister, understandably, get to level 2, which is great. If I click this here, can I just do it now? I can. So, let me see. So, Pyra... Pyrochemist or Apothecary. Questionable science, you throw a foul smelling concoction that has a chance to inflict weakened on units. You throw a flask of pitch and hands through and coat, which creates a last flavor of pitch on impact, slows units within the surface. So that's the one that the alchemist had in the tutorial, which I'm not against. I'm not against having. You know what? Let's go this one. Let's go that one. And then for Neri, I think you did say just like tanky stuff more than anything. Yeah, you said full weapon master. So full weapon master it is. We'll just go all the way down here. Man, I am looking forward to that repost at level 5. And Duel. Duel's very cool. A cool vibe as well. Great job, team. Let's go back. I mean, I suppose it wasn't particularly hard. And you'll see that the experience for the weapons is going up as well. It'll be curious to see what happens when we get to, like, the next part. Yours is flying up for the axe. Back we go. Cool. So, we got money. We got, I assume that's iron. I assume that's leather or hide. And that's the wood we needed. We might actually be able to upgrade some stuff. Uh, we do now have the laboratory. Which we can go and check out very quickly. Research formulas to unlock new consumables. Research costs resources and takes time, but it allows you to buy new consumables from the buy screen. Okay, so what can I research right now? How much money do I have? I've got 1300 of 1350 gold. So I can research and then buy. So I can buy bombs and shackles. And then I can research. Reinforced armor would be quite good. I think that would be pretty decent. Poison grenades would also be pretty cool. Bandages, that's bleeding. So bandages for bleeding, antidote is for poison. Salve, I think, is just for burning, I think. And then reinforced armor. Yeah, Sue's burns. Sue's bleeding. Sue's poisons. Obviously, does poison. And then item to repair armor damage during battles. Hmm. Okay, so it's not a case it just gives you more armor. It repairs armor. In that case, let me just go with... We haven't really had any damage over time to affect us yet. So let's do one which will... So that's eight days, right? Let's just have something easy. Just to test how this works, let's just research bandages. Just to see how it works. That's very good. And then I'll go to the barracks. Apparently something is going on over there. Although as to what it is, I'm not sure. Doesn't say. I assume that it might be saying I can upgrade this to level two. I can. You can recruit higher level companions and increase the maximum number of companions you can accommodate in the domain. So 400 wood, 500 gold, 200, 150. How much is it to upgrade the infirmary? Because I don't feel like I need more people at this very second. Whereas I feel like if we start taking damage, upgrading the chapel might be better. What do I get for upgrading the chapel? Number of companions that can be healed from a wound by one. I think that's probably going to be better in the short term. Let's do that. Now, is it instantaneous? It's instantaneous. All right. I thought it was just going to be like, it'll be a certain amount of time until it levels up but it seems that leveling up an area is just bang done straight away it's level two okay that's good to know we currently still have the market or the forge or the prison if we go and do this assassination mission which we are going to go and do we will then unlock the forge which will be quite useful and we will look to upgrade that let me have a quick look at the map currently Where's our group going? I think I am going to continue to use, like, an amalgamation of these people, as these are more of the subscriber characters. So I will not really want to use the others right now, as long as we're seeing all five classes, which we are. I mean, there are six classes, but as I've looked into it, the Gunner class gets unlocked through, like, I think a story-based mission, like, a little bit later. So we won't have access to that one just yet, so I'm going to pass the time. Just a few days to bring them back. Make it to 22. They have come back in. Now, the only thing I will say, which I didn't show on camera before, is that they do take a bit of time to recover. So, say, for example, Rochev is missing full health. He will take a bit of time to come back from that, but not massively. I think it's, uh, it should say. Weird, when I was in here last time, it actually told me, like, how many days it would take for them to fully recover. But I'm now just either blind or it's not showing up again. 
even though when I hovered over this. Anyway, it's only Rashev and Adeline who are actually injured. Uh, Neri's fine. And Beatmeister, he's a little bit, but he should be okay. I'm going to pass, like, two days, and then I'm going to send the group out again. And we'll have, like, another varying, like, group this time. And we should be able to get at least these first objectives done. Let me give it three days. That should be all right. Let me just quickly go back to the barracks to see how that has impacted the bottom line for healing. Okay, now it's... Now it's gone to four days. This is what showed up last time, but it didn't last. It didn't this time. I'm not entirely sure why it's only now just showed up. 16 days. Damn. Okay, well, I guess I'm waiting like four days before I send everyone out again. But uh, yeah, it was a bit weird that it didn't show up then. Okay, bandages are complete. I assume that means it's just going to be something that I can take out going forwards. Uh, I can just buy them as well. What do shackles actually do? For capturing a capturable unit. I mean, I, I probably could have guessed that. Let's be honest. God, it's 50 hide just for one bandage. Two owned already, so let's not go too crazy with it. And then I guess I will do... What's that? 350? Man, things are spenny, aren't they? Uh, let me just go antidote. I think that'll be quite good. It's only eight days. That should be absolutely fine. I assume upgrading the Master Craftsman will just effectively... Or the Laboratory, should I say. Will just make it... Oh, it's new formulas. It's not like it, it makes it faster or cheaper by any means. Okay, that's fine. That's all right. I don't know why you're telling me that there's something to look at. I think it's just saying there's something might be new to research. Oh, it's just saying that it has been researched. Right. Okay. That's fine. Oh, and because it's now the next month, I do get a tithe because of our domain. So that's good. So at least we are making a slow amount of money on the way. Now, here's something that I want to test. So we have a group of people who are a little bit injured, but I'm going to take them anyway. Big Mice is actually fine and Rochev is fine now. Okay, I guess I'm not going to test it this time. Because I was going to send them out, and I was going to see if they healed on the way, or if it was just they only do it in the domain, just as like a test. This might take a bit of a walk. It's going to take 13 days to get there. So, uh, an urgent might need your attention. The target has been har harming your reputation and trying to restrict your resource for a long time. It's time to eliminate this threat. A group of plunderers have been spotted at the site of a former battlefield. Stop these shameless scavengers. Don't mind if I do. Let me get set up. Okay, interesting mix this time. We're going to have Artie and Neri, who are going to be our tanky boys, although one's a little bit, works a little bit differently. One might be able to make them go prone. One can just ignore armor as well. And then we've got two ranged at the same time. So balanced as everything should be, apparently. Uh, but we'll see how uh, accurate that is. Let me just grab those bandages as well. That should be absolutely fine. Let's rock and roll. I don't think we're going to see these get to like the next level this time, but you never know. We'll see how it goes. 13 days as well. I mean, it's going to be like day 15 of this month. I'm just going to hold this as long as possible. And we've already done the antidote. It's good, it's good that they can like get sent. And whilst that's happening, once again, you can just keep doing stuff. Uh, it will be good to investigate the salve. I might as well. I've got the stuff for it. It only takes eight days. By the time they come back, we'll have researched so much stuff. Be quite surprising to them in a different, different world that they came from. Right, go on. Back there. Go, go, go. Man, that's also being finished as well, right? I'll deal with that in a second. We've only just we've just got here, so let me deal with the fights. And no doubt it's going to take 13 days to then come back from this. Uh, rock and roll. I don't think we need to start with the view the squad. I think I can trust them. So I assume the guy with the... Uh... No quarter. God, that's... They do speak very loudly to begin with, don't they? A lot of dead people around here. I assume the guy, this guy, is the target. Yes, you must kill this unit. Don't mind if I do, game. Don't mind if I do. Right. Let's just be a little bit careful. Let's just be aware of our surroundings. Man! What sort of battlefield was uh, held here? This is brutal. I mean, this is, this is pretty standard for the 100 Years' War. Should I save 116 Years' War? Uh, let me nice. get everyone over here and ready. I assume there's only going to be one group. Maybe? It might be a case of there's one group where the guy needs to be assassinated from. But then once we kill this group and the assassinating target, all hell breaks loose and we need to extract. That might be how it works. Maybe. We'll see. Once again, cannot confirm or guarantee that. There is quite a lot of them, though. There's one... Is that a guy up there? I can't tell if that's a head or not. Ah, oh, it's a statue. It, it, hey, it looks like a person, all right? There's at least three of them. We'll see if there's any more hiding. It doesn't seem to be a timer on going to kill him yet. I don't know if one will kick off Ready when we go? get, like... In? We'll see. Using our range to our advantage will be obviously very, very useful. Consider it done. If we can snipe them to bring them out, and then we can use our melee yes. guys to then slam into them. If I can put, like, one of our shield people on each side of this, this building, 
and then coax them out by shooting at them, I think that's probably a good idea. I'd like to think so. Then again, the target might try and escape. I don't quite know how it's going to work. Understood. Can Where you shoot you from are? here? Okay, I found the downside. I, I cannot shoot from here. Do I have to activate that? I think I do have to activate that. Right, so if you, you gain 15% bonus to critical hit chance when there's no unit within a 3 cell radius. So like here? 1, 2, 3. Or oh, is that technically 3? Hmm. Technically I can sneak in. Oh wow, I can sneak in. I do not know how they didn't see you, I'll be honest. At your service. Can I use that for basically everyone else? Can we all get round and in? I mean, yeah, okay. Yes. I'm going to cha change tactics slightly. So apparently they're not... One of their eyes is looking slightly the other way. However that works. Well. Okay. Everyone's through the gates. We stormed them. I say stormed them, not really. Let's see how their group reacts. That guy's going to walk in a little bit further. That's fine. Is he going to see us? I... Oh, he actually has quite a lot of movement, to be fair. Now, my beaky boy, how far can you get and throw? Can you shoot from there? You can shoot one of them. How far can you throw? You can hit one of them as well, and it will set fire to the area, I think. Hmm. Well, up you go. Stand on that box. Surprisingly, they can't see you from there. Yes, it is surprising. Now, will the fire stick around? That's the question. This might hurt. Yeah, no surprise I've been spotted. I'm, throwing, I'm literally throwing fire, mate. Okay, he isn't going to try and run. He is actually going to try and attack us. He does have a lot more health, though. I also don't know if elevation is taken into account. On the move. Not 100% sure. Guess we'll see. So what's that do? So you strike, so slashing would be weakened, I'd imagine. He is weakened, so inflicts a penalty to power, as you'd expect. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now I could get in there and just go. Smash down the mace dealing, and each turn the first time this hits, it removes one armor. And then I can also maybe inflict prone. I think we just try and way. focus fire on one of them. Let's just do it. Is he gonna go down? Don't expect mercy. Oh, he's on one health. Classic move. Thirty-five percent to hit. That is on the quite move. rough. It's quite rough. Let's just use full cover. Eighty percent. Eighty-five percent. I could kill that guy, but he's gonna die anyway. Let me just focus on this guy. Get rid of the ranged. If you can, Arcade. That was a great shot. Hey, man. Nice shot. Also on fire, so they might take enough damage to die. I guess we'll see. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, uh, they've got friends, expectedly. One health. Okay, two of them are almost dead. You've managed to finagle your way around, which is kind of annoying, but fine. I feel weakened. Be funny if you... Ow. Well, if we're going to shoot anyone... Weakened. Man, they really don't like Rook. Damnation. Okay, so why is it when you, even though you're in our zone, weakened. you don't take an attack of opportunity, but if we did My that, we would yours. take an attack of opportunity. I still haven't come to the point where I figured that out yet, yeah, I don't think. Also, I missed a 95%. Just, just saying. I highlight it in Battle Brothers. I'm going to highlight it here. Right. Lock him down. Yes. Uh, get there, please. See if you can knock him prone. So what does prone do? Inflicts penalty reflexes increases critical hit chance. Well. Oh, man. Wait for it. There's the bonk stick, baby. Man, you do not mess around, do you, Artie? He has got no chill. 
Now, can you technically now move away because he Consider is prone? It done. Perfect. You can. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull you back a bit just so you get away from, from Rook so he actually gets a better chance to crit. Although, I think he's got a bit of a problem with his actual sight. So, we'll see how it goes. Just keep shooting him whilst he's on the floor. Don't worry about it. This might hurt. Or miss. It, it will miss. Ready when you are. No, uh... Okay, so I can't actually... I, I don't know if I click that or if it just happens. Oh, no, it did him. It just took a hot minute for the game to realize that. Shame. Come on, you can do it. 45%. Okay, never mind. He's, he's injured. The important thing is, he's injured. I think he's going to be stuck there for a while. I assume his movement's going to be a lot worse. Bro. You've got no chill. Ow. Oh, damn. Nary. Well, all of a sudden we have we have problems. So, give me a sec. Yours. Big crit. Big crit. Unfortunately, not big crit. My blade is yours. Heal yourself. God, so you're poisoned and you're bleeding. I'm ready. I'm not really here for it, honestly. Stand there. I'll get in position. Let me see if I can figure this out. Uh. God, this guy takes a lot of damage, doesn't he? So removes bleeding. You have bleeding too, right? That's better. Don't say I never did anything for you. Getting those bandages has already uh, been literally a lifesaver. You're mine. <laughs> Ragdoll. <laughs> that was uh, very silly. It was very silly, but very funny. Very funny. On the move. You shot him in the ass, man. Uh, are you burning as well? They say you're poisoned. Well, let's just snap back to reality. There you go. Rook, I'm a little bit worried about your health, to be honest now. What are you, what are you doing? You're poisoned and blinded. I don't have a poison self. Just get behind full cover, please. My blade is yours. And then Neri, get into melee with this guy and just attack him. Don't expect mercy. I suppose he is a poisoner. It does say that. Yes. It does say that. You know what? Go double team him. There we go. He ain't getting away. Oh my god. No, he is not getting he is not getting away. Right, how's everyone's AoE or like damage over time? I think you're okay. At your service. You can throw At this and hit off. several people, can't you? Or, or or is it just hit one person? I think Ready it just hits one are. person. So I need to escape. Escape eh, over here. Let's On get in move. position. We could still... We might actually lose someone here at this rate if we're not too careful. Um, let's just overwatch. If it moves, I'll shoot. That just That's exactly this. what I need. Thank you very much. Are you still poisoned? I don't have any poison healing for that, unfortunately. I do have 12 turns, so I do have time to yes. finagle around a little bit. You're also still poisoned for a turn, so you are going to take a bit of damage. Once again, I guess we'll manage. There's a crossbow up here. Can I use this? It'll be interesting if I can. They won't get through. Right, well, let's just I'll hold this position. be careful. Move up to I'll there. Move. That's just going to be a bomb. So let me throw this. Now, it looks like it only would heal him, but it did seem like you could maybe throw it and hit multiple. I'll have to test that at some point. Why will... What is that? Is that a gun? Go Hang on. <laughs> I'll get in position. Hang on. I want to go check that out. So if I stand here, is that how this would work? Off you go, Arcade. Let's go on, go on, Beatmaster. Beatmeister. So bombard shot, spray of steel. Incendiary ball. And I can just do that. Cool. Oh, wow. Annoyingly, I've got to hit. I can't hit two of them. Can I not hit two of them? I can't hit two of them. 
A shame. And that incendiary ball... Let's see. Pretty cool. Although everything's now on fire. So, yeah, it's still pretty cool. Right, you're not going to be on fire, are you, if you stand there? Artie, don't do it. Don't set yourself on fire. You've got so much more to live for. Okay, armor's gone. Let's see if you can prone You're them. No match for me. They are pro they're prone and on fire. So I feel like oh, they're, they're not on fire. Ready when you are. They should be on fire. Can I shoot any of them from here? I can. Consider it done. Now technically three spaces away, I think. Dodge that. Funnily enough, they did. What's the chance to hit? Ninety. These uh, I don't know if I believe these percentages at the moment. And you're blinded. Great. Good stuff. Uh, if you could get in front. And let's uh, fortress up. Let's stick with that. I'm assuming that that's just a thing. So you're now resilient? Is that now a thing? Yay? Nay? Oh, I've got right. I've got to then click him into it. I see. Fair enough. Right. Come on, you're on fire. You've got you've got to die. Surely, right? Great. We've got we've got to push through. Okay, I find it really weird that she's standing on a burning tile, but she's not getting set on fire. I don't know if I agree with that. A few weaker. What just happened there? It, it really it cuts off before you get to see what's what's happening. I'm noticing a bit more. Ready when you are. We're having a bit of a problem here. Oh, mate. Okay, that's one. That's another one down. I think this is going to be basically deal with these guys and then cheese it, more or less. You're no match for me. Okay, weakened. That's fine. At your service. Smash him. Okay, they're both down. We're not bleeding, but Neri's health is not looking great. As, As for your... Once again, now that there's a fire... So I guess they don't get burning, but they will then get just on fire. They will get hurt by the damage. I think that's what the game's trying to tell me. Okay, fine. That's fair enough, then. Right, let's lock this one down, then. Shouldn't be able to attack us now. Yes. I assume that needs reloading, so can I just shoot normally, like a, like a normal person would? I can, but honestly, I'm going to move forward. Because we do need to get to the evacuation point. My advice? Run. I think my main concern now is... My advice? Run. Neri is looking not great, I'll be honest. Yes. If I can get here... No problem. God, neither of you are looking that great, to be Thank honest. You. Okay, that wasn't healing. That was just like a salve. Cool. I'm gonna risk a forty. I'm gonna risk a forty. It will attack. It will hit. It won't do that much damage though. Let's see how this turn goes. One of them shouldn't be able to do. I disagree with that. Okay. Well, whatever. It's just the way the game works. Fine. The fire's now gone. Good stuff. I don't know. I just feel like being able to shoot in, being able to shoot a ranged attack while you're in melee with, around someone. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. A little bit worried about our boy. I can actually just get him in. Just go. Just go. If we can actually just run now, we might be good. See ya. Leave. Companions within the instruction area will withdraw. Companions outside will be assumed to have fallen in battle. Right. Yes. So I need to get everyone in before I activate that. I think I should be able to. On my way. Fingers crossed I should be able to anyway. You shouldn't take an attack. Can you get there? Oh, mate, are you kidding? 
You're having a laugh, right? Okay, so two of them are in. By my, like, reckoning, they shouldn't get a go as soon as they spawn. So we should be alright, because that would be ridiculous. What I'll do is... How far can I throw this? Quite far. So if I get there... Understood. I'm going to see how this works. Throw. You I come over here. This. And then to be honest, guard. Just in case they do get a turn. Because they might. And they probably will. Even though they probably shouldn't. And then you, my boy... Throw the alchemical pitch on them so they can so their movement is slowed. So they can't get up on us as quickly as they can. Don't get don't get a go. 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 Stay away, stay away, stay away. Okay, we seem to be just moving into position. Are you kidding? Ugh. The pitch, it did nothing. Right. In. How much health are you on? You're on two. Unfortunately, you're going to take some damage, uh, RE, but honestly, get in there. Oh, okay. You're not going to take any damage. We're safe. Let's get out. Bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting start. We did manage to deal with it. Uh, we, we are going to, be going to have to be careful of damage over time abilities and understanding, like, for example, with the whole fire and pitch thing, it's not that it gave them burning as a damage over time thing, it just hurt them as they walked through it. But someone standing in it didn't take damage when I think they kind of should have. Also, the whole melee range thing, we're going to have to just work out. Anyway, we all survived, that's the important part. And the only downside is Neri does not have a lot of health. Uh, you are probably going to need a bit of help, a bit, bit of looking after, a bit of looking after. But you did get to level 3, which is massive. Our first level 3 is Beat Meister and Neri. Let me have a quick look at level 3 abilities. So we've got Experimental Bomb, your Poison Flask inflict 2 times poison, and also your Healing Flask grant healing, like they should. With Stable Prowess, you learn how to develop more powerful formulas, increase the damage dealt by your Fire Flasks, and increase the area of effect. I'm going to add a bit of healing. I'm going to add a bit of healing. Just because that uh, fight alone sort of showed that we kind of need it, evidently. And then you're going to go parry. You're going to put bonus to reflex of 15 against every attack that targets you. This bonus increases to 30 if the unit targeting you don't have a positioning bonus. Cool. Welcome to being level 3. Unfortunately, you had to pay for it a bit. You've already got a bit more health back, so that's good. Let's get everyone running back. I do already instantly get these resources. It seems like you don't have to wait for the party to get back to get the resources. Maybe a quick look at the lab. They have now completed the next thing, haven't they? Yep, both antidotes and salves. Good stuff. I could now technically buy them, but I won't. And there is also the Royal Agreements to do. There is also the Forge that we've upgraded, which is now available. Upgrade the various weapons and armors that your companion can use. Every upgrade requires resources and takes time. Understandably. Reinforced bow, reinforced crossbow, reinforced dagger. Oh, man. There's a lot. And then armor? Yeah. I feel like we should really help our tanks out, because that was a bit rough going. And they're duelists, technically, because they're technically not tanks. We're just building them like tanks. They, they're actually a little bit more versatile than that. But I will go reinforce duelist armor. I think after seeing that, they probably need it to be on the front lines a bit. And I assume I can't do any more. I, I assume I can't do multiple at the same time. So if I went to weapons and went and reinforced bow, I assume I'm not really doing... Or is it just like... If I click this now, I'm going to risk it. Is it doing both? It is doing both. Is it in a queue? I'm not, I'm not like, seeing a queue anywhere. I don't know if it's just doing them both at the same time. I guess we'll see. What, do I, what does it cost to do this? I need 350 wood. Everything needs wood, mate. Yes, I know. It's medieval France. I get it. <laughs> Stone as well. Stone as well. Uh, everyone's coming back here at this point. I can recruit some more people, but I'll hold off for the time being as we are almost at full capacity. So next is dealing with the Royal Agreement, which I imagine is on the map of France somewhere. The Royal Agreement with the mysterious Nicholas Formel. I assume it's Formel. I think it is. As Ashu discreetly protect the peace negotiated between the French and Navarrese representatives, it would be wise to take leaders of possible agitators alive, so bring handcuffs, just in case. 
Okie dokie. Recommend companion level level 2 as well. So I will wait for our guys to get back. It is going to take 13 days. So let me just pass time a bit to see what happens. I think it's like day 28. Great. Uh, I have upgraded the bow. Let me just give four more days. I want to see if it also upgrades the armor or if it only starts working on... No, it does it. Okay. So you can do like more than one thing at the same time. And everyone is now back. Interesting. That's, that's good to know. I'd always assume there'd be like a queue. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Right, I can't upgrade the crossbow, unfortunately, anymore. Let me have a look at what armors I can upgrade. I guess I'm going to double down on the Crusader armor. Let's just do that. Yes, God, I am going through all my resources all of a sudden. Here we go. This is where it all fall This is where all the resources fall apart a bit. So now that we've upgraded the armor for, say, like, Neri, does it give me more customization options? I think it does. Yeah, it does. So the more you upgrade the armor, the more customization options you end up getting. Although not for the Plaston, but for the, like, the right chest, the left elbow. Yeah, okay, it starts becoming a little more armored up, you can say. Well, that's good to know. Everyone's going to be healing for a while. It's still done that thing where this hasn't appeared. I guess they're technically not back in the town. They've literally just walked in, so they're literally like an hour from town instead. Uh, it's still saying I've got more armor to unlock. Can I just jump straight into this? Forge level 2 required. Makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Starting to understand how all the buildings work, more of how certain combat mechanics work, and it looks like the first next mission is going to be like a main mission, which will be fun to look into. But I am going to hold it there for episode 2. That was much more fun. I feel like we were getting more into the swing of things. I'm really glad to fix the key bindings, and I'm glad that the music sounds a lot. Well, it sounds better in my ears. I hope it sounds better to you guys as well. I will wait for everyone to get a little bit more repaired next time. But as I mentioned at the start of this episode, and I will keep mentioning, if you would like a character in this series, just let me know in the comments below what the name, the class, all the customization options that you would like, which I can try and get as close as possible. Or also just let me know in the Discord, which is linked in the description and on the channel itself. But I will leave it there. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more on there that you will enjoy. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time going out with our family retainers, I suppose, in Crown Wars. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.